everybody, it's Miss Bailey, and this week we are celebrating all things music, and myself and Miss Margie are going to walk you through three activities that you have in your music kit this week. If you haven't already picked up your kit or signed up for a kit, there is still time. Go to our Facebook and scroll down to where it says music kit, and you can still sign up for one of those. So, without further ado, we are going to make our very own harmonica. Okay, so in your kit, you've got a bag with four craft sticks, two big rubber bands, and a lot of little rubber bands, and a straw. So, first you're going to need to cut down your straw, and you're going to need to cut down two pieces. We're just going to make one harmonica, but you've got in your kit stuff to make two harmonicas, but you're going to cut down your straw into little pieces about one and a half inches long. So, about that size is the perfect length that we need. So next, we're gonna take one craft stick and we're going to put our straw right on top of the craft stick. Next, we're gonna grab a big rubber band and we are going to put that on top of our straw. So I've got the big rubber band over the craft stick and it's sitting on top of our straw piece. Not both straw pieces, just one. Now we're going to put our next craft stick on top of our rubber band and our straw. And we are going to attach it with a small rubber band. So I'm going to go to the end and wrap it around. So it looks like this. Now we're gonna take our next straw piece and put it on top of the rubber band. So for our first straw piece, we put it under the rubber band, the big rubber band, and for our next piece, we're gonna put it on top of the rubber band. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take another small rubber band and wrap it around the other side. So we have a little harmonica that looks like this. So now you've got your very own homemade harmonica and all you need to do is blow through either side and it's going to vibrate that big rubber band and make a harmonica like noise. Let's try it out. Look at that! So if you make one of these awesome harmonicas, we would love to see it and hear the beautiful songs that you create on there. So make sure to send it to us on Facebook or email it to us and check out our next two crafts. Our second craft today is our mini banjo. So today we're going to have fun making a banjo. You're gonna take the lid that was provided in the bag and there are several super fun jewels as decorations that you can attach to your lid just like that. You just peel the backing off of the jewel and decorate it however you want. Then you're going to take the rubber bands and slide them onto the lid just like that. And the fun thing about this are the rubber bands are all different colors. Can you, so you can do whatever design you would like. So once the rubber bands are on, you can see how it's becoming a banjo. And then you take the craft stick along with the glue dots that are provided and apply the glue dot onto the craft stick. like this and then you can attach the lid so that it's secure and now you have your banjo. I hope you all have fun with this. Okay so for our third activity in our music kit we are making a hand drum. So in your music kit you got two cardboard circles some string some 
wooden beads, some tape, and a PSPL pencil. We have our two cardboard circles sitting out and we are going to tie the string around our pencil. So I'm gonna wrap it around a few times and then just make a knot. Wrapping it around. And you might need two people to help you hold it tight. And then just in case, we're gonna tie another knot. Just the first step of tying your shoes. Okay, now that we've got our knot, we are going to tape the pencil down to one of the cardboard circles. So I'm gonna take some tape and tape it down. And then we're gonna lay our strings out to the side and we're gonna put on our other cardboard circle. And we are going to now tape these two pieces together. So I'm gonna tape one side and the other. Make sure that your string doesn't get caught in the tape because we need that sitting out. We're gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. extra security we're going to tape it to the top now we're going to put our beads on we're going to thread our string through the beads to make it easier i'm going to tape the end of my string so i can thread the string more Oh yes, that works so much better. Okay, we're gonna do it with the other side as well. And if you got more beads in your music kit, feel free to add more. If you just wanna add two, that's okay too. Okay, now let's do the other side. Okay, now that we have both beads on, we're gonna tie it off put a knot around each bead okay. and do the same thing on the other side okay let's try her out so we're going to go back and forth really fast to see if we can get a drum sound. Look at that! Now this is going a little crazy. So if you cut your string a little bit shorter, it won't get in a knot. And if you add two beads, it's obviously gonna have a different sound. But you can also decorate your drum and make it beautiful and make some wonderful music.